Hey guys, and welcome back for another installment of making the Grow With Me pajamas. I'm going to be making the nighty today. Um, so this is from Ellie and Mac. The links will be in the description box below or the comment section. It's a pattern that is from six to six months to 14 um, for children and it is absolutely free. So if you have never heard of Ellie and Mac and you want to get into garment making, um, definitely check out this pattern. It is great. I have made it several times. I just love it so much. The kids love it. And it's gonna be great for this time of year to make all the kids matching jammies. I'm super excited. So for the girls, I'm going to be making the um, little nighty here and I have made the shirt in one video and the pants in another video so I'll also leave those links in the description box below so you can go over and check out those so I'm just going to show you quick what the um, pattern looks like this is what your Ellie and Mac patterns look like they have all these different lines for each size and it has a little ledger right here which shows you which size is which starting from the six months all the way to 14 um, from this I usually trace it out onto other paper um, and then I create individual patterns for the sizes. So I'm going to be making size 5 today so I went ahead and made that and I like to put them in like these manila envelopes. These are great to hold the pattern pieces. So I'm just going to show you what all you need for this pattern. Okay, so we have the large piece, which is the back back and front of the nighty. We have a ruffle piece that will go across the chest, and that is cut on the fold. This is, whenever you see something like that, that's cut on the fold. We have sleeves that are cut on the fold. We have a cuff. They have two options. They have a standard cuff and then a grow with me cuff so that it would be longer and uh, you can adjust that and fold it up or whatever. We have the neck band here and then we have these two pieces which are the, um, the top of the uh, front and back so you can make these in contrasting fabrics. So this is the front because it has a big scoop and this is the back. And then those pieces kind of would go onto there um, when you go to sew them together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out all my pieces so that you can see how that's done and then we can get to sewing. Okay, so the fabrics that I'll be using today is called Double Brushed Poly. Um, in some countries it's called other things. Um, but I don't know off the top of my hand, but around here in Canada, they call it double brushed poly. Um, so polyester. Um, it's so nice and smooth. It's great for leggings and things like that and perfect for jammies. It's nice and thin, so it's not too hot. So I'll be using this for the body of the nightgown. And then I found this adorable uh, snowflake print that I thought I could use for the ruffle and then use for the cuffs and maybe the neck band too um, so that'll be really really cute um, so yeah I'm just gonna get started cutting things out
Okay, so now we have all of our pieces cut out. We have two sleeves cut out. We have a front and a back. How adorable is this? And it does take a little more fabric sometimes when you do have directional print, um, but how cute is it? It's just adorable. Okay, and then we have two cuffs. We have the back top and then the front top and then we have this is our ruffle piece and this is our neck but I think I might actually change that to the the snowman just because then it would be too much and I think it would be cute with the pink so I'm going to cut that out quick and then we can start to assemble our all our pieces. So the first thing I do is I take all the pieces that are quick sew and I get those done. So I have the cuff here and I'm going to just fold this in half and once I get everything all done then things kind of just start to go a lot quicker. And we have our other cuff. It's still, it's pretty good. So we're just going to go down the one side of the cuffs. Okay, so now with the sleeve, we are going to line up the long seam or long edge. Try to get as best as you can. And we'll sew that and we'll do that with the second one. And we'll sew that. So those are ready to be sewn. With my ruffle piece, I like to prepare it by surging one of the edges. Um, you can hem it if you like. But I'm just going to use um, some white thread and just do a serge right down the one side just to finish it off. And then we will do a gather stitch here, which is just a base stitch that we're going to pull the threads to gather it so we can make it fit. I'll show you that at the sewing machine. But we can do that one finishing serge on that. With the neckband, here's my new neckband. We're just going to take it and we're going to put it with the short ends and then we'll just do a quick stitch across that and then we can prepare that with the iron later on. We can attach our back to one of the front and back pieces. So the front and back pieces, these ones are identical so it doesn't matter which ones you choose. Um, but because we're going to put the ruffle on the front, um, there's going to be an extra step for that. So we're just going to do this for now. And we can do a quick stitch right along there. So those are the things that we can sew right away. Um, so I'll meet you over at my serger. Okay, so today I'm using my Brother 655D. This is a serger machine, but you do not need to use a serger to sew with knit fabrics. So if you just have a regular sewing machine, just consult your user manual to figure out which is the stretch stitch on your machine. 
Um, most of the time it's a zigzag stitch, so you can use a zigzag stitch no problem. So I'm just feeding in all of my pieces and I'm kind of doing a chain action where I'm just doing one after the other and then I'll cut them apart when I'm done. And then I did that frill piece. I just surged the one edge and now I'm going to put my regular sewing machine on the longest stitch length and then do a quick base all the way down. Okay, so now we have all of the main sewing done. So now we can work on our cuffs. So here are our cuffs. I'm gonna make sure that the long, the biggest stretch has to go this way. So we wanna make sure that that's correct. I have done this a few times and have had to undo my stitches. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my cuff like this and then I'm going to fold it down on top of itself like that. line up that seam and then this is your little cuff so if you have the grow with me cuff it's going to be longer um, and then it can be folded again when it's like all constructed but this is just the regular standard so you want to make sure your raw edges are all lined up we're going to keep our sleeves inside out and we will slip the cuff. We'll put our hands in with the raw edges like that. And then we will slip it inside. We wanna line up that seam with the seam on your cuff. And then we can just pin or clip all the way around and we'll have three layers of fabric with all of the raw edges lined up. And then you can sew all the way around and we'll just prepare the next one and then the sleeves will be done. Okay, so here is the back. This is how this looks. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add the ruffle to the front. So we serge the edge of the ruffle piece, and then I put a basting stitch, um, like stitch length five on the other side. And we're just going to slightly pull so I don't want to snap the thread, so that's why you need to be careful, but I like to just kind of pull down, just run the fabric down the one thread, and then it will gather it up. And I like to do it at both sides, so I don't put too much stress on the thread. And we'll get the front fabric, which is this. And then we have this edge here that um, we want to basically make it the same size as that. So obviously we have more to go and then try to make your ruffle as even as you can. Clip it into place and we'll put this piece on top of that to sandwich the ruffle. So I'm just gonna sew down this one edge. I'm gonna make sure that I have all three layers of my fabrics. 
Um, if you have that basting stitch, if you don't cover that up, um, you can easily just pick that out with your stitch ripper when you're done. So this is how it should be looking, super cute. And then we can quickly put the cuffs in. And the way I do that is I'll stick it into the machine and then I will very slowly just kind of sew a little bit and then adjust my fabric and then sew a little bit making sure that I get all three layers of the fabric caught and then I like to just pull out the cuff just to make sure that everything is good and I caught all of my layers and I'll just do the second one super quick and then the sleeves should be ready to be put on the rest of the nighty. Okay, so here it is the front. Super cute, the ruffle here. The ruffle will stay down once we put the sleeves in, so, but right now it wants to flip up. We can also press that, um, but the next thing we're going to do is take the back and the front and we're going to put those with the right sides together. And we will line up the long sides, the shoulders, and sew those all together. Okay, so now I have the majority of the dress finished. So now I'm gonna take my sleeves and I'm going to turn them with the right sides out. Then you can get a really good look at what it, how it's turning out. I love this because I got it to match the hat. How cute, oh my goodness. They're gonna be so cute and cozy. The other one making sure all of our seams are good no holes okay so now we're going to get our clips or pins and we will actually we're gonna get our scissors and we're gonna take the sleeve and then just kind of fold it in half we're gonna snip a little triangle right into that halfway point. So we already have this the seam down here, um, but we want to find the opposite corner. Okay, so that snip will line up with the shoulder seam, and then the seam will line up with the side seam. So we're going to take the sleeve and we will put it on the inside, and then I always line up my side seam first we'll clip that into place and then we will get our little snipped triangle and line that up with the shoulder seam and then we'll just kind of line up the raw edges all the way around and it should fit perfectly without any gathering or anything and then when you get to that ruffle you want to make sure that the ruffle is down and then kind of line up the raw edge of the ruffle with the raw edge of that that um, fabric 
and then we can kind of clip that all together so there will be three layers in that one little spot. And then we'll do that with the other sleeve, but I'm gonna do that at the sewing machine just because I like to do one at a time um, so that I don't end up um, knocking one of the sleeves off when I'm sewing. So just like with the cuffs, I just put a little bit into the machine and then I slowly do a little bit of sewing. I stop, I adjust my fabric and then I sew a little more and make sure when you go past the ruffle that you catch that short edge of the ruffle in the layers. And then I'm just gonna quickly do the second sleeve and then sew that up. Okay, so now we have our nightgown pretty well done so you can see how it is looking so now we can work on the waistband and then we just need to hem the bottom and then we'll be good to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare my neckband so here it is and we've already sewn the short side so we're just going to take it and then we're going to fold it in half. And that will be the width of our neckband. And then I'll just grab my iron and we're gonna kind of give it a memory fold. Like it doesn't necessarily want to stay because it's knit but it will at least give us or help us a little more because it's not, you know. I don't know. <laughs> it will be better. Let's just say that. Let's just give it a good press and then it will be better. And when I use the um, knit fabric. I like to actually use a tailor clapper just because I don't like to apply too much heat to my knits. Um, so by using the tailor clapper, it retains the heat and then keeps um, setting it without that direct heat. And it actually gets pretty crisp folds. I'm very surprised. You just go like that and then you hold it down. I'm gonna go ahead and press my hem quickly since we're here. So just kind of try to go as evenly as you can. I will be using a cover stitch machine and I'll show you what that is if you don't already know. Um, you don't need a cover stitch, it's definitely just a fun machine to have, but not necessary, but it's it's mainly just for hemming. <laughs> and that is what I use it for. If you wanna get a, a ruler, just so that you can make sure that that hem is perfect all the way around, you can do that. But I just kinda eyeball it as I go. Okay, so now we can take our little neckband and we're gonna get our little sips again. We're gonna use that first seam as one point. I like to put it at the back of the neck and then we'll fold it in half. I'm gonna put a little snip there 
and then we'll take the whole thing because we're going to make quarter points fold it in half again we'll make another quarter point just going to go like that to make my last one okay we'll take our neck band or our neck hole this is the front we're actually going to grab the front and the back and line up the shoulder seams and then we will find the center back and then we will find the center front and then we'll put those back together and we'll put those little triangles together. And then we will find the sides and they don't actually line up with the shoulder seams. And you would, you'd think they would, but they don't. So to make sure that your neckband is even, that's what we need to do. So we're gonna take our neckband and like I said, that seam is gonna go in the back and uh, I think I'm gonna do it this way just so that I mean you can't really see much of the print but if we do I'd like to see it with the right sides up okay so I do this the back and then I kind of flip it around Make sure that you don't twist it and then find that center triangle with the one that is across from the back. And then we'll clip that. And then we'll get the side and the shoulder triangle. And when you sew, you're going to be pulling on the neck band because the neck band is actually smaller than the hole um, so we'll see as I sew how that goes but that will allow your um, neck band to be nice and tight you don't want it to be floppy so we just did the quarter points and then we will pull um, for every time we pass one we're gonna tug at this band to make it fit okay, nicely. So I'm gonna get it in the machine first. And we're just gonna start at one of the quarter points. So making sure it's all lined up. Carefully insert into the machine. And then start it a little bit. And then we're gonna go to the next point. And then we'll tug and then the neck band will stretch we don't want to stretch the hole just the neck band and then we'll sew we'll remove the clip and then again lining everything up pulling on this to just pull the neck band to the next got a bit of a snag there not sure why but just keep going
Okay, so this is my cover stitch. This is a uh, Bar Brother 2340 CV. Um, looks very similar to the Brother 1034, the, um, the serger. So I'm going to start from a seam, but um, with the cover stitch, you actually have to sew from this side as opposed to sewing like this. So it makes things a little bit more interesting because you don't actually get to see. You kind of just need to know where your stitches are. And if you are really good at it, then the two needles there will go one on one side of the raw edge and then one on the other side so that it kind of finishes at the same time. And then this is the stretch stitch. Um, but if not, then at least be on that and it'll look It'll look fine, as long as it's hemmed. Okay, so we're gonna go. So this is how it looks with the double stitching. Looks really, really good. And then the uh, stretch stitch on the back there. So this is not like a serger at all. It's uh, trickier to pull your fabric out. I really have not gotten the hang of it yet, but I mean, that's a good sign. Okay, so we're all done. How adorable is this? The hem is super cute. I just love the cover stitch. Any links to machines that I use, um, I'll try to find them. I'll put them in the description box below. Um, but definitely give this a try if you're looking for some easy jammies this holiday season. Like I said, this is the Grow With Me Pajamas by Ellie and Mac. It is totally free, but they have some great deals over on their website right now. They always have Wacky Wednesdays where they have $1 patterns and they're all really easy well written you know good instructions so even though i'm showing you how to do it the pattern itself comes with um, beautifully illustrated instructions so that you are you know have maximum success so i just wanted to bring this to you guys i hope you enjoyed the three video series for this holiday season i cannot wait to um, give these as gifts they, oh my god it's gonna be so cute um, so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Oh,